find the maximum element in a stack in constant time so the problem statement is given a stack and we can do any number of push and pop operation but whenever we call get max it should return the maximum element present in a stack at that time in o1 time complexity so for example here are following operation i am doing on a stack so first i push 4 this is 4 then 3 then 9 then 2 then 8 so 8 is the last element which i pushed in a stack now i call the max method get max method so it should return 9 so 9 is the maximum element present at that time in a stack so uh, now after that i uh, do three pop operation so 8 is popped 2 is popped 9 is popped and now if I call the max method now the top of a stack is this one and if I call the get max method it should return 4 so the 4 uh, 4 is the maximum element present at that time in a stack so a stack is a last and first of data structure the element which pushed last in a stack is the first element to be popped out so think for a moment how we can solve this problem in o1 time complexity so that whenever we call get max method it immediately returns the maximum element present in a stack at that time let's discuss its solution part now uh, to solve this problem i'm going to use two stack in first stack i push the element as it is and in second stack so i uh, name as stack and max stack and in second stack i keep the maximum element present at that time so let's see how we can uh, solve this problem using two stack so first is four so initially both the stack is empty so let's simply push the first element in both the stack then the second element is three push three in it and then compare three with four which so which one is maximum four is maximum so push four in the second stack then the third element is nine so nine is push nine in the first stack and in second stack compare nine with four which one is maximum so 9 is maximum so push 9 in this stack now the fourth element is 2 so push 2 in this stack and compare 2 with 9 so which one is maximum 9 is maximum so push 9 in this stack then the third uh, the fifth is 8 push 8 in it and again 9 is greater than 8 so push 9 in this stack so here is the a uh, push operation now whenever we call get max simply uh, return the element present at the top of the max stack so this one is top and this one is the top so simply return the element present at the top of the stack so we return 9 so 9 is the maximum element present at that time now do three pop operations so we do the pop operation on both the stack so eight is popped from here nine is popped two is popped nine is popped then again nine is popped and here nine is popped so we did the three pop operation now again we call the get max method so the top of the stack is this and the top of the stack is this so the element present at the top of the stack is 4 so simply return uh, the element present at the top of the stack so i have returned 4 here so 4 is the maximum element present at this time so this is how we can solve this problem using two stack now let's uh, see the uh, see its java code here is the java code in which i have declared a two stack one is to keep the element as it is and second stack is to maintain the maximum element uh, present in a stack at that time and then in push operation i ensure only the maximum element is pushed in second stack so here is the 
value we passed in our stack to push and in this condition I ensure only the maximum element is pushed in a second stack so here is the comparison if a stack is not empty and if the peak the element present at that time at the top of the stack is greater than the element we are going to push then simply assign whatever the value present at the top of the stack otherwise if uh, the value we are which we are going to push in a stack is greater than the value present at the top of the stack then simply push this value so here I push whatever the value coming in a first stack and in second stack only push the maximum value then in pop operation we simply do the pop operation in both the stack and in get max method whenever whenever I call get max method it return whatever the value present at the top of this top of the second stack which is the max stack and in mean method I have pushed following element then I just print uh, I have printed the stack and the max stack so that you can visualize what's going on and then I call get max method to print the maximum element present at that time then I perform three pop operation and then I call uh, the max element present at the stack present in a stack so if I run this code see the uh, initially we have following element in a stack and this is the max stack which maintain the maximum element present at that time and whenever I call get max it return the top uh, the top of the second stack and the value present at the top of the second stack and after three pop operation following values are popped out so here is the stack and max stack and now if I call get max method it return force so this is how uh, we can find the max element uh, we can find the maximum element in constant time using two stack and, uh, and that's it for this video and for more such uh, programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video